All right, guys, so I wasn't quite sure if I was gonna talk on the video or not, or even, I don't even know if I'm gonna share this yet. But I'm sitting here at my buddy's Matt's house. Uh, I've had about, I don't know, five or six hours to kind of just decompress from Area 5. And I can't tell you how frustrated I am and how frustrated I have been for the last two big matches. So I guess I just kind of wanted to dump some of this out to maybe where some of you guys are feeling the same stuff that I feel and kind of express how I deal with it. So I shot one of my worst matches I think I've ever shot at this level. Um, I've shot worse matches, obviously, but um, I ended up placing third in area five. <laughs> I didn't deserve five. Um, I just, I just haven't been shooting well. And I, I don't know whether it's, I feel like it's more mental than anything else. Um, I had a really, really great practice, two great practices before I left the house. And then I came here and I just, I don't know. I feel tired. I feel like I couldn't focus. Um, it's really weird. It's just, it's been a really weird match. I had, it took me 10 stages to get rolling. Um, at that point, you know, <laughs> you're losing against guys at my level or that level. So I don't even want to even put myself at their level anymore at this point with the last two matches that I've shot. Um, and I, I'm not a negative person. This isn't, this isn't me getting down on myself. So don't, don't think that don't, I don't need a whole lot of pep talks. So like, this is just me expressing how I feel after these big matches that, you know, I hold myself to a different standard than most people, I guess. Uh, I probably hold myself to standards like the guys that win all the matches. And I think that's why they win all the matches, because no matter what, you're never happy. Um, I, I had a good chance to sit down. I shot with John Vlager and Nils Jonasson this weekend. Um, Jacob Hetherington was at the match. The, you know, there was quite a few good shooters there. But I just, I don't know. I think I shot the most, <laughs> I guess I didn't have any like really big giant dumpster fires, but I didn't shoot. I didn't really shoot like myself either, you know, but then it's, it's difficult because I go through some of the match results and some of the stages I felt I did the worst. I got second on like overall, like I think there was a stage, stage five. I was second overall in the entire match with all the other guns. Um, I shot a one handed stage this weekend. I've never shot that well. One handed. I felt so calm, so relaxed. I just, I just shot. I didn't think about anything. I just trigger sights, sights and trigger my two rules, sights and trigger. And I ended up taking first overall, I think I was the highest pistol guy. The only other people that beat me were uh, PCC guys. So it was just like, all right, great. So I did all these things good. And then I, but it's just very inconsistent. Like the last, this match was very inconsistent. Like I, I just, I couldn't put anything together. I just, I don't know. I had good hits, but I also took a ton of makeup shots to get those good hits. I just, I, my vision was terrible. Uh, there's just so many things that I look at and I'm, and I'm trying to find the positive, but because the, the, the negative is just overwhelming right now because it's dominating my last two matches. It's just, like I said, man, this is just kind of me dumping it out there for you guys to kind of know that how it feels or what I feel to see, you know, maybe this helps you guys. So the way my plan is, I'm planning on managing this is I'm going back to, you know, the basics. Um, my plan is to just work on vision over and over and over. I, I don't even know if I'm going to even shoot bullets <laughs> this week. I, I'm honestly thinking that I need to go back to the fundamentals of dry fire and just start working my vision. And I, and I think that might be part of my problem is that my practice practices have been focused on speed of which with the vision. I think I need to slow down my vision and start understanding the timing of just the exit. I think my exit timing is what my problem is right now. Um, I can tell you one thing about this match that as I break down area five, uh, not so much area six, because I actually shot area six really well until the end of the day. Um, and I just lost, I lost my mental and my physical at the end of that match. We had a very long break at the end. We took a lunch um, and then we got uh, jammed up at the end and we had to take hour long breaks. So that's something I have to work on if, if you make me sit for a very long time, I have to figure out how to take that break and then come back fresh. And that's something that I did really well actually at this match. We took a lunch, uh, which I didn't think we were going to. And we took a, a lunch, the ROs took a lunch, which they should. 
uh, took a lunch, and then we had a, about an hour break, and I came back and had a one-handed shooting stage and ended up crushing that. <laughs> so uh, I, I think I figured that out. I ate a little bit. Um, I took an energy drink and I moved around quite a bit, but I also sat down and rested a little bit, which I don't usually do. Usually I'm up the whole time, so I rested a little bit. I'm trying to find that balance to where I don't tighten up and I still am able to move around and do my thing uh, when it's time to shoot so or gain that rest as well and kind of conserve some of that energy. Um, I, do, I will say there's one thing that I, I 1 million percent know that I've, I have lost in the last... I kind of feel like I lost it a little bit at Dragon's Cup. So basically since the beginning of the year, <laughs> I am not going through my make ready process or my stage process, my plan before I get up there. So what, what's going on is there's three shooters in front of me or I'm the third shooter, whatever is usually when I finish uh, or when I start getting ready. Um, I'm not stepping back, closing my eyes and walking the stage with my eyes closed. Now, I'm not forgetting targets. I'm not forgetting like the main things of the stage, but it's the small details of the stage that I'm, I'm missing. It's, and it's not that I'm missing them, it's that I'm not, I'm not making them a priority, like a certain footstep or how long I should be pausing on a target because I'm gonna leave it and it's a head box or you name it, there was just those individual moments that I was making mistakes at that cost you very, very, very big in this match. Or, or against these guys, like uh, Nils shot an absolutely amazing match. He shot an amazing match last year, um, but I had a chance last year. This year, I started off my first stage and I gave him 15 points off the rip. And at that point, I didn't really care that I lost the 15 points. It's just how I lost the 15 points and what stage I lost the 15 points on. I mean, I could have shaken hands with 90% of the targets that I had a Charlie on. It, it, it was just so beyond frustrating that the next stage, I slowed down and made up all the shots that I thought were bad, and I lost by two or three seconds. So again, this is, this is the thing, is sometimes when you think that you need to do something, you don't. You just, okay, so I had a bad stage, whatever, <laughs> right? And, and at the end of the day, I need to just do me and be me and shoot like me, because every stage that I did do that and I executed it, I did pretty well. I was not... I was right there at the top. Um, but again, it's when, when you're shooting against those guys, and this is something for everybody who doesn't understand what it's like to shoot against people this level, because I guess I never did. I never really thought about it. I just thought, man, those guys are so good. They're consistent. What it is is they bleed you to death. They just take a little bit from you and a little bit from you, and they're never beating each other by 20, 30, 40, 50 points. If it's 50 points, somebody had a huge jam, and, and that's going to be tough to come back from. Oh, and that's the other thing. You're not coming back 80 points in a match unless <laughs> somebody bombs something big time. You, you're just not making a comeback from that. So at, at that point, you're just fighting for your pride to kind of give yourself some dignity <laughs> at the end of the match because... Before the match ended, uh, or before day one ended, Nils was beating me by 80 points on day one. Um, I bled enough points away to him that I was like, hey man, here's a free 80 points. Now, don't get me wrong, he earned it. That guy's amazing, and it's amazing to shoot with him. It's a lot of fun, it, you know, there's, there's no tension, it's just keep it light, but serious. And it's like, and J Vlager, I shot with John Vlager, had never, I've only shot with him one other time, and I had so much fun shooting with that guy. It was just, it was, a, it was a great experience, a bunch of great guys on the squad. So, you know, everybody pasted. It was just, it was a great RAN match. We, I don't think we waited but one time for a squad. And, and it was, I think they had one shooter left. And it was a pretty complex stage to kind of reset. So, uh, but I mean, it was a great RAN match. Everything was good. It, it was just on me. I mean, at the end of the day, which I always blame myself for these things anyway, but it's just the frustration right now is just like at an all time high for me right now. And I'm just so frustrated. And I've had, I've had a couple buddies that are like, oh man, you, you got third. Third's never good enough. It's not good. And not just third, but I don't even have a chance. Like I, I'm, I'm 50 points behind John, I think 50 or 60 points. And then Nils is above that, like 80, 100, whatever the hell it is. So if, if, if I'm 60 points back from them, what happens when there's even more guys that are at that level? This is where you get your ass kicked at nationals. Right, and I'm coming into Area Four next week, and I don't have a lot of time to practice because I literally am home for three days, and then I leave and go right back to Area Four. So I don't have much time to screw around and get it figured out. But 
I've got to get something done and get it figured out very, very soon because I'm not going to go keep getting my ass kicked. Um, that's for sure. That's unacceptable to me. Uh, I, I'm definitely going to figure this out, hopefully before nationals and not after like I did last year. Um, but the makeup shots have been really kicking my ass, and I know it's from vision. I mean, it's it's just vision, one million percent. Uh, um, I took second to John on a stage that if I don't have four shots on one steal, I win the stage, right? I mean, he shot it great, but I did too. I was really close. I just, <sighs> whatever. <laughs> it's just so frustrating. Um, but I don't know. I'm going to watch this. Hopefully it's doesn't sound like me being a bitch, but I just, you know, I, it's just, I want, hopefully this helps some of you guys out there. You have to understand that no matter how hard you practice, there's just some matches and there's just moments in your shooting that you're not going to do well. You're just not going to be a hundred percent. You're not going to crush it every single time. So I, I talked to a couple of my friends, um, and I talked to my friend Christina and she really helped a lot on this one because we were talking and she goes, I know you're not happy, but you shot good. You, you got third place overall. And I said, it's not good. I didn't shoot well at all. I don't deserve third. Um, that just happened to be where I placed, but I, I didn't shoot well at all. And, you know, I had just talked to her at the beginning of the year about, you know, where you're at and where you have to think about what you accomplish. So I, I have never, ever placed in the top five at these matches consistently, right? I mean, I'm not even, I was never close and now I'm close. I'm getting closer. I'm in the top 10 in, in every major match that we've shot this year, every, every area match, every major match. Um, and so I have to remember that same advice that I give other people. There's levels to this game and this game never goes by just how well you shoot. It also goes by experience. There's a lot of things that you have to do in this game to be consistent. And some of it comes from experience, understanding when to hit the gas and when not to hit the gas. Sometimes it's not worth going for all the targets if it's a you know a part time or a, a you know watch looking at the scores sometimes actually is important i think you need to be mentally ready to do that which i'm getting better at i looked at the scores at every single stage this weekend after i shot it and not one time did i think i need to go faster so i made a huge improvement from that from dragon's cup <laughs> from area 6 I made a huge improvement there. And I was shooting with the two guys that were kicking my ass. So it was nice that I was like, all right, cool. This I, I'm understanding that I don't have to go faster. I just need to do what I do. Uh, but where the problems were coming in is I wasn't ready when I got up there to shoot. And, and that's, I think that's the key. And I think that's what I'm missing. So I'm definitely going to work on that some more. I haven't had a chance to, I'm not going to have a chance to shoot a match before I go to area four. So I've got to just kind of remember to do that every single time and go back to my old process and get ready because it's definitely something that I think is affecting me uh, quite a bit. Like I'm not forgetting the plan. I'm just not focusing enough on those little details to where when I get up there, I'm just crushing it and, and I don't have to even think twice. Like I'll give you a couple of examples just real quick on what I did wrong. I had a standing reload because I didn't focus on the mag release and the mag got stuck because I turned the gun too soon. Stupid little things like that. So then I sling the mag out because it isn't coming out any other way at that point. So I sling the mag out. I'm standing there and my brain is just not working. So I hold the magazine quarter of an inch into the gun and I'm not pushing it. It's just standing there and I'm just looking at it. And I go, oh, okay, maybe I'll figure it out and finish it. And I finish it, shoot, I get a trigger freeze. I'm rushing uh, just to make up time that I can't make up. And, and, and that's one thing. Today, I'm like, all right, cool. I finished the day yesterday, a pretty good stage. I'm like, all right, good. I'm ready to go for the next day. I go into the stage, the first thing I shoot, I shoot, okay. I had five makeup shots, <laughs> five makeup shots. Guys, just in case you don't know anything about the numbers of our sport, four makeup shots at a quarter of a second. I just gave away a second, period. I gave away a second in four makeup shots. That's all it took. And guess what? I was a little bit over a second and a half slower than all the other guys. And I lose the stage. And again, it's not 50 point losses. I'm not getting my ass kicked by 50 points. I'm getting my ass kicked by five, seven, 10, four, three, five, seven. Every time they take a point from you, it adds up. 
It's all, it's just like adding up the 0 0.10 splits that they're beating you by or the transition speeds, start adding up those points, two, three, four, five. It's all it takes to lose a match. Um, it's all it takes. And once you get to that 50, that seems to be the magic number. It's very, very difficult to come back from because those guys have to screw up pretty big or you got to be crushing some stages to get that. So uh, the one last thing I did, <laughs> I'm shooting a stage. Everything's going great. Shooting awesome. I have a makeup shot. Well, I guess it's four shots on a tuxedo. I shoot dead center into the left uh, uh, hard cover. Then I make up a shot, hit the edge, but I wasn't sure. So I took two more, shoot a no shoot, shoot at a no shoot, get two alphas. And then I decide to leave this exit and push for a reload for no reason. And I'm, I'm on a 20 round stage and I only had two makeup shots. Um, I shoot one Charlie on that stage, two seconds slower than everybody else because of the stupid reload. And I'm literally in the middle of the stage talking to myself, telling me, why am I doing this? I don't know. <laughs> Just, again, not paying attention to the details before I walk up there is costing me massively in these matches. And I think that's where, even when I'm tired, that will help me when I'm tired, a little bit beat up, or if I'm standing there for a long time waiting for my turn, those things right there you can eliminate and bring back your shooting very easily if you just go back to focusing on the fundamentals of everything. My grip was great today, draw was great today, wasn't as good yesterday, but I went to the safe table every single stage and I was able to maintain and hold. I just, I just kept bleeding points left and right with the stupid mistakes that I was making. So um, other than that, that's kind of how I've been feeling right now. I hope this helps a couple of you guys. Um, you know, I, I like doing these match dumps. It kind of helps me. Uh, hopefully it helps some of you guys because it kind of tells you guys where I'm at. Because I know when I started this, I didn't have this. I never had someone to tell me how they felt after they would run a match or if they win or lose or, or whatever it is. So hopefully you guys can understand how I feel. I've met quite a few of you at this match in Area 5. And a lot of you guys kind of talked about your mental status or where you're at. So hopefully you guys can understand the better you get, the worse it gets. <laughs> Because these guys are very, very, very good. And you have to be ready to beat them every stage on every shot. You have to be focused and ready to go. So all you guys out there that are dying to be Grandmaster, just remember, you get to come up there and live my life and try to catch these guys. So, all right, everybody, if you have any questions, hit me up in those comments, and I'll see you on the range.